My dear Jamaica, as we head into the Christmas season and the close of another year, I give thanks to God for blessing and protecting this beautiful country and I thank you, the good people of Jamaica, for the privilege and honor of leading this country for yet another year. An important part of the job of a leader is to set direction and give hope, which is particularly important in times of crisis and bewilderment. The story of the birth of Jesus Christ, which we celebrate as Christmas, tells of the emergence of a spiritual leader who would give hope to a despairing people and direction along a pathway to peace and redemption. So it is today, as it was in biblical times, there is despair, uncertainty, and suffering for many. At the global level, with wars, climate disasters, pandemics, and economic crises. At the community level, with poor infrastructure and amenities like roads and healthcare, and a breakdown in public order. At the household level, with high cost of living, poor housing, and a feeling of insecurity due to crime and violence. And at the personal level, broken relationships consuming us with rage and anger and unfulfilled desires and expectations weighing us down with depression and negative thoughts. Yes, so much trouble in the world. But our faith tells us that Jesus Christ came into our world to shine a light to nations, but more so to be the savior of the individual soul, to help you find the pathway to peace in your life. The important lesson in the birth of Christ and in the life of Christ is that the solution to national problems or personal problems do not necessarily lie in material things. Indeed, the story of the nativity is deliberate in Jesus being born in poor circumstances, in a horse stable. And the life of Jesus was remarkably humbling as a carpenter. However, his teachings were revolutionary in liberating the minds of the people from material worship and selfish desires to a deeper understanding of love and peace. My leadership over the last two terms has focused on setting the economic engine on the right path to deliver the material variable in the equation of prosperity. However, it has always been my understanding that prosperity cannot be complete without peace. Indeed, the high levels of frustration and anger in our social interactions which manifest in violence is reducing our quality of life. You hardly hear the good old Jamaican courtesy of howdy and thank you. Looking out for our neighbors and being parents for all the children in our community is no longer a feature of Jamaican civility. The rise in domestic violence means that we have gone back to the Old Testament, Cain and Abel. We are no longer our brother's keeper. As you listen to me speak these things, I know deep down you feel the same way and have the same concern about the moral and spiritual direction of our society. No doubt we are making economic progress, but we must now liberate the minds of the people and lift the spirit of the individual. As your government, we intend to mobilize more resources around social and human services, more counselors in our schools and communities, more mental health support, greater support for families and family life, more engagement of our youth, a more wholesome public communication and safer public spaces. However, we do not have to wait on the bureaucracy of government to bring peace to our communities, households, and personal life. We can start right now at Christmas. Bring some joy to the kids in your community by organizing a Christmas treat, or simply buy them some toys or ice cream. Surprise your neighbor with a gift, or simply just reach out to say, Merry Christmas and how are you? Remember that elderly lady down the road who has no one to take care of her? Share what you have with her. Remember that brother 
you argued with over the family line, the one with whom in rage you exchanged violent words, call him up this Christmas and talk it over in peace. That anger inside of you because of an abusive parent, jilted love, disrespect from a friend, being overlooked by your boss, free yourself of the burden and let it go. Forgive. Let us all vow to make definite steps towards peace in our life by being courteous in our interactions, showing concern and empathy for persons around you, sharing with those who are in need, and above all, forgiving those who have trespassed against you. These are practical steps that do not require government. It requires a change in our attitude and behavior towards each other. These are indeed the teachings of Christ. Spare a few minutes during the Christmas season to read Christ's prescription for personal peace and salvation in the Gospels. My brothers and sisters, make this Christmas one of reflection and outreach. Happiness and peace. Enjoy the goodness of life in our beautiful Jamaica. Drive carefully on the roads, and if you don't drive, well, what good? May love be the compass that directs your steps, kindness, the language you speak, and compassion, the armor that shields you from the challenges of life. From Juliet, Adam, Matthew, and me, have a Merry Christmas filled with love, joy, and the realization of your dreams. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you, and God bless Jamaica land we love.